Do you understand some people have felt that putting clothes in bags is insensitive, perhaps, to homeless and other people? Look, man, I'm an innovator, and I'm not here to sit up and apologize about my ideas. Yo, let's talk about it. I did a couple of videos before, and you know, sometimes I just see financial topics on people who we know in the entertainment interest industry. It could be a financial legal topic, and I'm like, yo, I have to talk about this because it's wild. So today we are gonna talk about Kanye West and the Yeezy clothing line. If y'all tuned into the live, y'all definitely know that Yeezy was number five on my list of top 10 hip hop entrepreneurs. Think about it, Yeezy came up under uh, Jay-Z, and Jay-Z's worth a billion, Kanye West is worth $2 billion. So from a business standpoint, Kanye West know how to make that bread. But two things could be true. I think Kanye West is genius, but I also think he a wild boy and, and, and kind of got some issues. It is what it is. Let's talk about his Yeezy clothing line. This dude is selling $240 hoodies out of the gap. Like that don't even make any sense. $240 hoodie out of the gap. Like the whole point of the gap is to have cheap ass clothes so people could look nice and not spend a lot of money. So we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna hear what Yeezy have to say. And y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on this wild ass clothing brand that he's selling in his collaboration with the gap. Let's get it. I'm Marcus, you're at the channel of the Deaf Free Dad, where we're talking financial takes, financial topics. I'm letting y'all know what we got going on over here financially in the household of the Debt Free Dad. Hey, I'm a licensed attorney, but not your attorney. So this isn't legal advice, this isn't financial advice. This is just me giving my take on topics that I find interesting that has a financial nexus for the most part. So let's dive in. We're talking Kanye West and his collaboration. If y'all tuned into the live yesterday, y'all already know Yeezy was number five on my list of top 10 hip hop entrepreneurs. His net worth is a little over $2 billion. He, he's worth more than Jay-Z. So let's put that into context. We all know what Jay-Z is doing, who Jay-Z is. Kanye West is worth way more than Jay-Z. So this is going to be kind of an interesting take. I think far as a business aspect, this dude is a genius. But we all know a lot of people think that Kanye has issues, whether it's mental health, whether it's arrogance. It could be all of those things rolled up into one. But he came out with this Yeezy brand clothing line. He teamed up with The Gap. And you know, the all black stuff that Kanye wear, the boots that come up to your ass, the all black hoodies and face covered up in 10,000 degree weather. Yeah, that clothing line is being sold out of The Gap. It's being sold in trash bags. Apparently Yeezy came in, saw his clothes on hangers and was like, nah fam, this not what we doing. I don't like hangers. Back when I used to work at The Gap, I used to sit and have to fold and make everything super neat. And I just felt like that gets fairly uh, pretentious and classist. And the whole point of why I came to The Gap was to make egalitarian clothing. So y'all see, Yeezy essentially was like, you know what, I used to work at The Gap. I hated hanging up clothes. It was tedious. So we're going to put my stuff in these construction bags, B. So apparently, like, there's reports of nobody helping you pick out your size. Everything is just thrown in a bag. You got to get it yourself. It's like when you used to go in Walmart DVD bin back in the day. It's just a big-ass box with DVDs in it, and you got to rummage around through all the garbage, snakes on the plane, and all this other stuff until you find a movie that's good. Like, underneath all the stuff, you'd be like, oh, snap, I found John Q. <laughs> so that's kind of how it is when you shop for Yeezy. So just as a... Uh, 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 a strategy to sell it. I think it was genius because I'm talking about it. The media is talking about it. If they aren't talking about it, they will be talking about it. So I think that's genius from a from a standpoint of how it's going to make things operate in a store. That is going to be mess. It's going to be clothes everywhere. It's going to be people touching all over it, digging and rummaging through things. People stepping on it because they knocking it out on the floor. That shit is going to look absolutely insane. So it's interesting. I'm going to throw up on the screen just a, an overview of what the clothing line is. And essentially all it is is black t-shirts, black hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts. My absolute favorite outfit 
is the woman's bodysuit with the hands included with the circle out in the back. So ladies, y'all let me know if y'all get that, if y'all get that outfit and rock that outfit, I want to invite you as a guest on the channel. I want to see a picture and see how it look because it looked wow, but it's my favorite outfit because it looks so wow. And so the other thing with Yeezy, he got a little bit of flack because people saying that, oh, this is embarrassing to the homeless people. Look to the children, look to the homeless as the biggest inspiration for all design. Do you understand some people have felt that putting clothes in bags is insensitive perhaps to homeless and other people? Look, man, I'm an innovator and I'm not here to sit up and apologize about my ideas. That's exactly what the media tries to do make us apologize for any idea that doesn't fall under exactly the way they want us to. I don't think this clothing line is uh, taking a shot or jab at, you know, homeless people. If anything, I think it's a jab at like regular working people like me, like, dog, you making these overpriced ass clothes, putting them in the gap and you want me to rummage through a trash can to go find them? Nah, fam, I'm not going to do that. So as well, Tell me in the comments, do y'all think this dude is a genius or y'all think he's just crazy or y'all think it's a little bit of both? Two things could be true. Y'all let me know. But hey, real talk, I told my wife, I, well, as soon as I saw this, I was like, you know what? I want to go to the Gap today because I want to go to the Gap and see if this shit is sitting on the floor in these construction slash trash bins myself because this is wow. I think it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting thing to see, but I think it's going to work out well for them. I tell you, I'm actually interested to see what the numbers do after the first quarter, the first three, four months, I guarantee you he's going to blow it out of the waterfall's performance. But, you know, like I said, my opinion of the gap is I think it's called the gap because they know that there's a wealth gap. And so I think the whole reason that, and I don't know, I'm just assuming, but the reason it's called a gap is because there's a wealth gap. And for the people who are on the other side of the gap, the gap is a place where you can go get nice shit that doesn't cost a lot of money. So nothing in the gap should cost $240 fucking dollars, pardon my language, but no clothing item in the gap should cost $240. But I already know what's going to happen because it's Kanye West, because it's so wild, because people want to be the first with it. People are going to go get their credit cards. They're going to open up gap credit card accounts. It's, people actually got credit line of credit at the gap. That don't even make sense to me. But people are going to do it to get the latest and greatest and the $60 hoodies and the $20 t-shirts and the $240 hoodies. And people are going to do all of this just so they could be up on the trends. I think is wild. I think Kanye West is a marketing genius. I think he's going to make a shitload of money off this. But, you know, if I'm just keeping it real, I'm not buying none of the shit. Like, I'm going to go in the store because I want to see if it really is sitting in trash bags like everybody reporting. I'm sure it is, because if it wasn't, why the hell would they be reporting it? But I want to go see if it's sitting in the trash bags. I want to go actually take a look at the clothing. I want to look at the clothing. I know my kids occasionally get some stuff from Gap. Hell, I occasionally get some stuff from Gap. I want to see the quality of it. Is it higher quality than what the Gap normally sell? Or is it the same Gap shit with just ashy black coloring and a Yeezy tag on it and they call it a day. It is what it is, you know. And besides, I do got a pair of Yeezys, so I might need to go. I'm not rummaging through that shit. Never mind. I was about to say I might go get me a t-shirt to match my shoes, but man, I ain't going to rummage through that shit. This ain't uh, 1997 when I got to rummage through the DVD bins and Walmart. Nah, man. If anything, I order it offline. What if if you order it offline, they send it to you in a trash bag? <laughs> Oh, that shit would be hilarious. But, um, you know, I think it's a smart business move. I think it's going to make sense financially. Um, I don't think it's an insult to the homeless population that he's kind of coming up with, you know, his concept from the downtrodden and the homeless. If anything, I think it's an insult to hardworking people to pay $240 for something that you sell it in a trash bag. But here's the only advice I got. If you do go to the Gap and you're rummaging through the bag and you buy some Yeezy clothing, just make sure you wash that shit when you get home. It's in the bag. They're not helping you with the size. People are going to be rummaging through it. It's going to be falling on the floor. People are going to be stepping on it. That stuff is going to be the most germy, disgusting stuff ever. So if you go out to the Gap, you rummage through the trash bag, you find your $240 Yeezy hoodie that you're going to cop, make sure you go home, 
throw some detergent in the washer, wash that thing, because it's probably going to get a little bit wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Y'all take care. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share this video. Peace.